Good evening. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Last video, I was the pilot, and I got to level 3, which I think I've only done a couple of times so far, so that was an achievement in itself. Um, and then I died after biting off more than I could chew um, at some sort of shrine which was surrounded with dark energy. Probably wasn't... Eh, I was already happy to have reached level 3 at that point in time. I assume that the dark shrine is some sort of extra challenge. Where, if I had managed to clean all of those if I had managed to clean all of those mobs, I probably would have been rewarded with something. Well, what was that? Okay, so this time, playing the Marine, which I find has a much uh, beginner-friendly setup. I'm not sure how that translates to the later game. I find that... Mm, I'm not sure how much the differences between the classes actually makes a difference over the long term. Oh, that's a lot of mods. Couldn't really spend enough extra brain cycles to talk. Got more things. But the additional armor and being accurate I find are very useful at shoring up my weak um, early game. That was a lot of cash. That seemed like a tough room, but I was pretty pleased with it. Okay, i had been mostly avoiding Enter the Gungeon stuff, but eventually I couldn't help it and had to start watching other people's videos um, just to get my Gungeon fix when I wasn't actually to able to play. And so I've learnt a few things. One of them... Whoops. One of them apparently being related to... That was a really bad time for a reload. I'm glad that grenade didn't get to me. Well, that was one thing that I learned. You can roll through those guys. The other thing that I learned but still haven't seen yet was that apparently you can do something with this fire. Um, it involves getting water to it but so far I haven't actually seen it done. I've just seen other players lamenting the fact that they didn't have a water gun or a water barrel to be able to bring. I have 56 money already and this RPG is 65. Of course. I think at this stage I'm just gonna keep saving because that sounds pretty neat. I'm feeling pretty okay with the default, um, with the marine sidearm. So I might as well just keep going. Oh, come on. I even went to the effort of flipping the table and everything. Turns out the increased accuracy doesn't mean much when you can't point the mouse properly anyway. Hey, get away. So I believe I should be keeping my eye out for a water barrel. I 
I also need to get more used to hitting E. I find that sometimes it feels like a panic. I either need to get more accustomed to it, or I need to remap it. It definitely doesn't feel like I should be struggling to hit it at all. I've got two keys. I don't know whether... It's, uh, it's a brown chest. I don't know whether the type of chest indicates quality or the type of thing that you might get. Art bottle. Oh yes, I purchased that using hegemony credits. I can't remember if I did that at the end of my last video. <clears throat> what did I get? Ruby bracelet. Thrown guns explode. Any guns thrown while wearing this bracelet will explode. I don't know what throwing guns means. There isn't an option for throw, so I assume that's a separate skill or a separate item or some sort of other action allows throwing of guns. Oh, get away from me, you monster. So far, so good. The game has been very generous to me. So something else I've been doing has been looking at my videos, um, because obviously the point of this was to learn- oh, there's one right here. Okay, I am so glad that I can just stand in front of myself to stop it. That would have been incredibly infuriating if I just had to rely on it bouncing on things. Oh, jeez. Please let me... Oh, come on. Oh, it bounces off the wall as well. Thank goodness. Stop. Swish. I'm gonna go buy this first. That packs a punch. Take that. Cool, there was even another water barrel, just in case I screwed up with the first one. That was a very simple room. Oh, Jesus. Unfortunately, the surprise of this... Well, I was surprised, but... I had seen other people encounter mimics, so its mere existence wasn't wasn't quite as much of a shock. Mega Dowser. Contents under pressure. Beam. A water gun. A water gun might seem to be a poor weapon for gungeoneering, and in most ca have I picked this up? And in most cases that is true, but a well-placed blast of water can douse a raging inferno. A soaked enemy can be electrified. A dazed foe can be pushed into the abyss. In the Gundren, creativity is key to victory. Which means... I feel like I cannot let this run go to waste. It's almost as if the game is going out of its... Hey, I just noticed that I can switch between my guns using 1, 2, and 3. I just found myself automatically doing it. That is very useful. Um, in we go. Or oh, that doesn't. Oh wait, no, there is a thing. I don't know what that did. Is 
Is that it? requires so I need keys I assume that I need two I don't want to just use the one and mm. twenty-five I don't want to use one just in case it uses that one for absolutely no benefit well anyway at least I found how that works kind of Today we are fighting King Bullet. I don't know how to skip. Oh, get away from me. That was not a clever way to dodge. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! For just a moment I was actually feeling pretty good about the fight. That was a waste of blank. That one probably wasn't a waste of blank. But I still wish I hadn't had to use it. Oh no. I probably should have just kept using that the whole time, just to be sure. Two more hegemony credits. Armor. And that's it. Oh, I nearly forgot the gun. That seems like a terrible thing to have done. King me. Okay. <clears throat> So obviously I'll be feeling better when I can get through and be good enough to actually start that sort of snowball where I manage to kill the boss flawlessly, which gives you a boost. But that's okay. Probably just not be firing blindly. Mm -hmm. I don't like these at all. Oh, come on. That was dumb of me, but still. I think I just need to be more patient. Because it's not like these bullets change direction again. Once they've decided to home in on me, their trajectory is fixed. This thing I don't like. It's quick movement tends to just make me kind of a little more scared of it. Just sort of more scared, but not so much rational thinking. Alien sidearm, 42. And this is the gun muncher. I don't know, I kind of like my guns at the moment.
but something... Okay, going back to something I'd started trying to say ages ago, was that I've been looking over my videos, and I'm really sorry for the audio. But I'm... Oh, I wasn't even looking down. Nope, oh, get away. I apologize for the audio. Dealing with audio is really difficult, and I haven't quite figured out how to do it. But know that it is something I'm working on. Or, well, reading up on at least. And hopefully at some time in the future, I will have figured out what I need to do, what I need to do with software, how else I should prepare, how else I should arrange my room, stuff like that. have a decent Thompson submachine gun. Yeah, see? Have I picked this one up before? I might have. A favourite of organised criminals and hollow points, this gun has accumulated nicknames over its hundred years, hundreds of years of use. Known affectionately as the Tommy Gun, the Trench Gun, the Chicago Typewriter, and the Tito Toller's Thursday. That's not bad. Maybe. I don't know what damage it does. I've got a bunch. I could potentially throw something into the gun launcher. I think that only required two. We'll see. I'm not sure what effect water does either. I mean, obviously it interacts with the interacts with the fireplace. I'm not sure whether there are other water fire type interactions. This water gun doesn't seem too bad. Oh no, go away. Damn it. Yeah, I knew that wasn't clever. Just sort of at the moment that I did the roll, I thought, ah, oh, that's not going to be a good enough roll. I do kind of like this oh aspect. Just taking the water gun and just waving it around in front and just blowing everything away. Hasn't been a particularly efficient use. But it is fun. Oh, I can extinguish extinguish torches. One rain side on two RPG. Wait. Yes. Was just checking the name. RPG. Super Soaker. No, Mega Dowser, sorry. Four is the rifle. Which I do like, but I'm already halfway through the ammo. Five is the Tommy gun. I should try using that a bit. What are you? Smoke bomb! Badish. I 
I was reading the wrong thing. I was like, ooh, infinite ammo, hey? Temporary invisibility. Well... I don't know which one I should refill. Uh, this is a tough one. I'm gonna refill this. to eliminate one quick oh I was so focused down below I wonder if there's any health left on the floor oh thank you cool so I can still pick up that I'm not sure why I did that. Go away! I am not happy with that damage. Wow, the ammo is just coming out of me. I don't think I can leave that though. Health is okay to leave. So I might as well refill this too. Although that obviously does make me even less inclined to feed any of those to the muncher. So I probably won't. What was this? Did I remember seeing that? Was that just a... I can't remember what that is. Alien sidearm. Mm, I feel like I should get health just to give me a better chance of defeating the boss. I'm sorry I can't remember this room. I need to go check whether I actually looked inside it. Oh, it's a... Uh... Can I still afford a key? Nope. Dang it. That was not well thought out. I can't remember whether the boss gives... The holster! I think this is the first time I've seen it. Okay, the um... That was almost really bad. I need to take out that ad. The water gun really makes short work of the. Oh, and I can't believe I did that. That was so dumb.
Damn it! Oh, I was trying to remember the button to get back to the water gun. Oh, that's frustrating. It's like my mind just took leave of me suddenly. Still, uh, that run definitely should have been better, especially since the game was giving me such a really good start. <coughs> oh, that looks like that's death number 13. One of these days, one of these days we'll get a bit further. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.